scientists have created a 3D printed ear with blood vessels and cartilage for the first time in a breakthrough that paves the way for machines to print body parts. Similar to the iconic scene in sci-fi movie Fifth Element, medicine students have successfully printed layers of cells to form tissue and implanted them beneath the skin of mice. Previously, such tissue wouldn't have been strong enough, or large enough, to be functional but by adding a biodegradable polymer, the scientists were able to grow the tissue and vessels in just two months. The work was carried out by regenerative medicine students at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, WFBMC, in Winston-Salem. 3D bioprinters are machines that print cells in layered patterns with the aim of creating a functional tissue or organ. However, the resulting structures are often unstable and too fragile to be used as implants. Moreover, because they lack blood vessels, their size is constrained by the diffusion limit for nutrients and oxygen, which is around 200 micrometers. This is too small to make most human tissues and organs. Anthony Atala and colleagues at WFBMC solved this problem by printing cells together with biodegradable polymer materials that make the structures stronger until the newly forming tissue matures. The process, which is thought not to cause any harm to the living cells, initially struggled to ensure the engineered structures lived long enough to integrate into the body. But researchers optimized a water-based ink to hold the cells, and printed a lattice of microchannels throughout the structures, allowing nutrients and oxygen to diffuse and keep them alive. The system has been called the Integrated Tissue and Organ Printing System, ITOP, and has been developed over a 10-year period. Dr. Atala said, our results indicate that the bioink combination we used, combined with the microchannels, provides the right environment to keep the cells alive and to support cell and tissue growth. In order to demonstrate that ITOP could generate complex 3D structures, scientists implanted human-sized ears beneath the skin of mice. Two months later, the ear shape was well maintained and cartilage tissue and blood vessels had formed. The ITOP system was also able to use data from CT and MRI scans, allowing the researchers to tailor tissue for patients. They used clinical imaging to create a 3D computer model of the missing tissue, and translated the model into a program that guided the printer nozzles to dispense the cells. The research, published in Nature Biotechnology, was backed with funds from the Armed Forces Institute of Regenerative Medicine and aims to provide bioprinted tissue for future patients.